Welcome to the Cherry Wood Podcast with me, Rachel Burridge. And me, Simon Burridge. Yeah. Pixie. <laughs> a little pixie. Oh, Look at her. Again, your name? Yeah. Your company? <laughs> yeah. Has your company got a name? Tink Spoons. There you go. Yeah. And then give it a clap. Boom. I don't say about pole, do I? You, you can say you can say whatever you want about if yeah. you if you want to talk about you your pole fitness. Me, yeah. yeah, we'll ask you about it, yeah. I've got what I've got to say. <laughs> <laughs> so Wait. say your name. Yeah. Company. Name. Have you got that? And give it a clap. <laughs> like this. Yes. Oh, it can't see me. Yeah, you get Take one. <laughs> Wait, is it my note? Why does it look funny? Oh, why is it red? Yeah, because that means it's focusing on it. Oh, is it focused? You don't have to worry about that. It won't be like that when, when I play it. Oh, my goodness. It's what? This is one, you're, you're one of the longer ones, yeah. So um, <laughs> <laughs> that, the reason there's red on it, which there won't be red on the actual recording, the red's on it tells you that the focus is working. The okay. auto focus is on that writing. It won't be on that writing when we... You do it. Yes. Right, okay. Good stuff. <laughs> I look well funny, though, don't I? You're beautiful. Thanks. <laughs> right. I forgot what I got sailed away. Oh, my Wait, Christ. I'm Ting. Right. Take three. I'm Ting. <laughs> and my, I've got to start again. You know that. I'm, I'm, I'm using really every bit of this. I'm using every bit of it. <laughs> You're not. I never, right. I never, I never re- delete it because it's funny. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's still got a duck and copy like, hey. Right. I've got plenty of time to turn the volume off on my phone. Take four. I'm Ting. And my company's called Tink's Balloons. She got oh, there. And that. Oh, right. <laughs> she got there. They're, they're on the camera, Rach. You know where it goes. Yeah, we stick it there and then people can see your name then all the time. Yeah, we go higher. It hovers. Oh. There you go. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Well, that was easy, wasn't it? <laughs> Very easy. A good five minutes there. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Good job you said we've got a few hours. Yeah. <laughs> right, the sign. How long do you think before it uh, falls off? Oh, Bear in mind it's got new tape on as well. I reckon... About 28 minutes and 43 seconds. Jeez, she's been yeah. thinking about that. 43 seconds. Right, 28 yeah, minutes of starting from now. Yep. We're going to go to the sponsors right now and then we're going to come back and talk to Tink. I think that's her name. She couldn't, she didn't know her name. No. <laughs> Today's sponsors are De Giorgio Properties, your premier choice for expert building solutions. From concept to completion, trust them to turn your dreams into a reality. Visit their website today at degiorgiosproperties.com. Dimidici Associates, Chartered Structural and Civil Engineers. Based in the UK with a worldwide reach. Visit their website on dimidiciassociates.com. <laughs> right, that's it. Sponsors are done. <laughs> yeah, I'll just cross that 28 minutes. Do you, want a, do you want another go? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> How did you just literally put tape on that? I clicked and it... Right, nothing. okay. Oh, me up. Me. Oh. There you go. You now how long? Not a lot of people get a second. Five seconds. <laughs> five five <laughs> seconds from now. Five. Right. One, two, okay. three, four. <laughs> you watch now. It's over 20 minutes. I've got to try and move because it made it move. Oh. There you go. I thought it was going to go. No, it's not going. No. Right. Tink, yeah. tell us about yourself, what you do. Do you need to know my age? No, really. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Um, not that I'm that old, but you know. Well, I know you're about four foot. Four foot eleven and four. a quarter. Oh, a four yeah, yeah, yeah. So and that quarter, and that quarter. Yeah. She's that the sort of person you could just keep under your stairs, couldn't you? Or in your pocket. Yeah. yeah. So, tink, come out, come out, Tink. <laughs> do you know what? We were actually discussing this the other day. Because I said I've got short arms, got T-Rex arms. And you know your arms are meant to be like the length of your body. Yeah, you probably are, aren't they? Arms. No, they're not. My arms are shorter than my body. Mm-hmm. You may be little, but you have got some strength on you, girl, haven't you? Hell yeah. Got right. some strength on you. <laughs> tinks are, <laughs> tinks are pole, should we say pole fitness? Or yeah, you just one dance, of those I dirty ones? I don't actually care. <laughs> tinks a pole dancer, competition pole dancer, aren't you? Uh, well, I wouldn't say competition. I thought you'd done competition. I did with Mel, yeah, yeah, but I haven't done them for a long okay, time. Okay, so you just do it for your own fitness? Yep, and teach. But you're, oh yeah, you're a teacher as well. Yeah. You literally go sideways, didn't you? That sounds wrong, but you know what I mean. <laughs> so that's, that looks <laughs> wrong. And I went like that. <laughs> you go sideways. <laughs> that's the rumour. Nothing to do with pole. <laughs> no, no. I'm, do you know what? I'm not as, like, I don't feel as strong as I um, like was when before I had kids. I think when you have kids, like, I don't know, I just. See, I thought you'd come back better and stronger he says think? like a perv watching people go pole but you know every time you post something on facebook i was like bloody hell she's looking you're the best you've looked i think i personally no think. definitely not i do I think, think that. And, like the muscles in your shoulders and your back i look at you and think oh my god that's amazing i'd love to have feel free to show that. the viewers 
Yeah, <laughs> No, I just feel like, you know, like before, like even before, like when I had kids, I used to think I was fat then. You know, you always do, didn't you? You're never happy with yourself. And um, there's me going from pole to, like, Tink's balloons to pole. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then I look back now and I'm like, God, I was well slim. Like, mm. you just don't realise, do mm. you? Mm. But, you know, I just, I, this year I did say to myself, I'm going to, like, be the best. <laughs> like, I know that's quite a high thing, but I just want to be, like, really good. I do think I'm good, but I want to be like really good. Yeah, set yourself goals. Yes. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, Brilliant. Doing and how long have you been doing pole for? Uh, oh, God, you know what? A long time. I think I started in 2009. Really? Just, yeah. Wow. Yeah, end of 2009. So, like, is that 14 years? Eight. 15. <laughs> 15. 15 this year. Yeah, well, the like, end, end, yeah, yeah. end of 15. November. 15 oh, right, this okay. year. Yeah, so it's a long time. When you was like six. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 Wait, these wrinkles don't have us. <laughs> I need five dogs. <laughs> but yeah, uh, right, to okay. expression it. I and you're a teacher. Much. You can promote that if you want. Yeah, I'm a teacher at Fit to Flirt. At Fit to Flirt yeah. in Gravesend. Yeah. Well, it's Gravesend, isn't it? Yeah, it's Gravesend. Yeah. Yeah. North Fleet. North Fleet area. So um, Springhead, off of Springhead Road. Yeah, that's it. North so Fleet. how long have you been doing that for then? Um, 15 years. So I, 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 we just said that. No, so I've been doing no, it for 15 right. years, but teaching... Um, like, I'm going to pick myself up. I was quite good, like, to start off with. And Lisa gave me a job, like, nine months after. But I only taught, like, an hour a week. Um, um, and that was it to start with. Mm. And then as soon as she moved over to um, Springhead, um, I then obviously got more classes because she had more more of a timetable. She took over her fitness classes because we had, like, two spaces. Um so, yeah, I've been doing it a long time. It seems like so long when you say, like, yeah. oh, I've been teaching for 14 years and been doing it for 15 years. Oh, that actually made a yeah. noise, that chicken. Did you hear that? Yeah, it sounded like it was yeah. strangled. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know, it's two chicken noises in a row. Last beat person had a chicken noise, didn't they? Mm-hmm. That actually made me jump, though, because I didn't expect it. <laughs> like, yeah, and then it throws a conversation off. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah literally. No, I, actually, actually I actually don't know why we do it. Yeah. <laughs> it Honestly, ruins it. Especially if you're talking about something really serious. And then yeah. Go, oh, yeah, the oh, we've had that yeah, before. Exactly. Yeah, we've had that before. Was it a road traffic accident or something like that? Oh, of course, about? yeah. It's really, and we're like, oh, my God. And then the thing fell off, and we were like, Really stop. Yeah. <laughs> you want to laugh, but it's yeah. not funny in the situation yeah. you're dealing with. It's awkward. It is yeah. awkward. Um, right, okay. So you didn't win the hundred pound for charity. No. You know oh, I didn't know it was charity. I would have been like even more on it. <laughs> well, at, what would you have changed? It's only the time. You'd Probably have got not. the time still, wouldn't you? Probably not. I would have been a bit more thoughtful in it. Oh, okay. Maybe. Okay. So what did you do? What's your first job you ever did? We're going to um, get to your balloons. So. so this is actually going to get to my balloons. So my first job was um, in a party shop in Peef Parties in Gravesend. Oh, do you remember yeah. it? That near the um, because they used to do a dance shop as well, didn't they? Uh, no, that might, be, that might be a different one. Oh, oh, right. that, oh is Peef for Parties by the clock tower? No, that's not right. one. That's, right. yeah, that's um, the one. No, Peef Parties. I, just, I always forget what the road is, but you know, like where Subway is in Gravesend mm. down there. Queen Street. Oh, is it Queen Street? Or, or High Street. Yeah, High, High Street. Street. High Queen Street's the next one. Yeah, yeah so High actually, Street. my first job was um, in Peef Parties, and mm. I used to get £3.60 an hour. Oh. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> like, you know, when you think, think about it, like, £3.60, I'm like, how did I ever, like, yeah. cope on that? I know yeah. it was just a Saturday job, um, but, yeah, that was my first job at 15, because it was, like, your, um, you know, like, when you're at school, you've got to go and do, like, um, what well, is it? Work. Yeah, work experience. Yeah, yeah, so that's they, the school got me that job. Yeah, and I just started doing it, doing it there, and then. Um, what school did you go to? Mepham. Oh right. Okay. Yeah, and then I'm pretty sure they sacked the girl that was there on a Saturday job to take me. <laughs> to take you. Yeah, I'm not joking. <laughs> they actually did. Um, did you walk in in your pole, pole dancing gear? No, no I'm fifteen. Oh, right. no, yeah, fifteen. I didn't start. <laughs> yeah. I didn't start pole till I was nineteen. Now you've so now I'm telling you, yeah, I'm thirty three, guys. I think. All right. Okay. It worked out thirty four. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not until September. So, it's so great, isn't it? So, he's born um, 90. Yeah. All right. Good okay. <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> um, right. So, did they teach you balloons and stuff in there then? Or did yeah. you just blow them up in there? No, well, obviously, they did teach me stuff. Like, they were teaching more like, um, like table sets, like um, with helium and stuff like that. Um, and then some stacks. But if you look like now, like how much it's involved, um, like, I th- they obviously had to close down because I think it was just, like, money and stuff like that. Mm. But what what's out there today? Like, I've all, like, the sour I'm just cleaning with my mic. Sort of yes, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just cleaning my mic. I'm not touching you up. Just yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You're doing your makeup then. Yeah. yeah. Little, little, little um, bronze. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Touch me up. Ready for the next one? Take five. It's um, just your hair was on the mic and oh, I know sorry. it's going to go. <laughs> um, right. Go on. You just text me now. Sorry. Um, 
yeah so like obviously like now they do like a lot of like um moon gates um like hoops uh sailboards there's so much more you can do now mm. um which i obviously didn't learn when i was there yeah um i just learned just to do basic stacks so like, did you teach yourself all this or did you go training or yeah stuff? pretty much just taught myself youtube plus li- literally youtube instagram all them sort of things are like your best friend like mm. you see things on there or you see inspiration and you're like oh i could actually do something like that and then pick something from someone else mm. um or you come up with your own ideas um, but obviously everyone kind of takes your ideas or adapts them, don't <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so the you? Same with me, I would obviously take someone else's and adapt that. Of course. So you obviously do parties and weddings and things, don't yep. you? You started doing weddings a few years ago now, haven't you? I don't know how long it is. So how, how long have you had your company for then, if we're going into that? So yeah. I actually started it because I've always like wanted to do it when I left the uh, party shop. Mm. Um, but it's just because I worked in a pub and then obviously um, I was at college and then obviously I was working for Lisa. It was quite a lot. So I never really took it up. And then just before lockdown, so before I even knew about COVID, I was like, I'm actually going to start go doing this. Yeah. And I started doing it and then we went into lockdown. And then because obviously all the shops were shut, Obviously, that picked up my business. I mean, if I look back now, I, I would, there's loads of stuff you'd change, mm. like your designs. But um, yeah, so I started. I mean, you're never happy with your early stuff. No. You know, like, I can look back at a video from last year and go, I'm not happy with that. No, exactly. <laughs> it's easy. easy yeah. Though. I mean, or sometimes I do look back at my work and I haven't posted it because I'm not <clears throat> overly happy. I mean, the customers love it. Mm. But you're like, oh, no. And then I look back, like, I don't know, six months later, and I'm like, I actually really like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But it's just, you just at the time, yeah. I think you're just so picky with your work. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. you could focus so much on yeah. it. And you're thinking, oh, if I just do this, if I just do that. But how much, if you tweak it so much, then you're never going to be happy. No, with exactly. It, yeah. I think it's because when you're making it, especially like, same with me, when you're making it, you can see the flaws, stuff that you weren't happy with. Yeah, no, exactly. But when someone else is watching it, it's, they love it. Yeah. And then you forget about those flaws when you watch it six months later and no one you love it. Yeah, that's, no, exactly. I also happens. find like social media, like I, I like this is gonna make me sound big headed, but I'll look at like some people on social media. I've got six hundred followers. Give me more, okay? <laughs> um no, I've got six hundred followers, but they're mainly people like around my area. And yeah. then you'll look What's at this Instagram. Or Instagram, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or in, uh, Facebook I've got like just under a thousand, I think. So like nine hundred something. Um, I think. But um, yeah, and then you look at other people that have got like 37,000, like maybe in the same area, but I will look at their work and I'm like, you're no better than me. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm like, just because it's because I'm not a good poster. I don't post every day. Um, it just takes up so much time. Yeah, it? and you've got a hashtag. There. Yeah. And it's so much. And uh, you sort of sitting there and you're thinking, well, I'll do that in a second. Then the kids do something. Then something yeah. else happens. And you're just like, I, haven't, I just need someone just to dedicate all their time to my social media. This, yeah. this podcast is the most we've ever done social media mm, really yeah. yeah and we should have done it really more with the wedding business mm. but yeah we were getting the, the the amount of people we needed mm. you know just yeah to exactly do what we needed but to, to you know to, to grow your business you need to cane it you yeah really do. And i think it's a lot of like word of mouth as well isn't it i yeah. mean oh some, yeah definitely that, like yeah. some people will just say people like you know like when you get on like facebook or whatever they'll just tag their friends yeah like obviously I'll tag you guys, but I had you for my wedding. Mm. I know you're good, but you'll get some people that just tag people for the sake of it. Do you know mm. what I mean? Like yeah. Just trying to get their friends work. Um, but I suppose people have to make their own mind up, don't yeah. they? You just obviously put up, and they'll look, see what they like. Um, but yeah, just back to like the follower thing. Like I don't have a load of followers, and I'm not like overly bothered about that because I'm getting loads of work. Mm. But you do look and think, how have they got thirty thousand followers, and I've yeah. got six. 600 <laughs> like we're it's literally all about the effort, though. you know yeah. better than me yeah, like, yeah. it's the social yeah. media effort it's the, it's, yeah it's the constant literally yeah. 24 7 posting 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 yeah and, and reels and I, it's oh just, my god and you yeah. should do I some little it. videos like showing people how to do a little I know, display I should, and I should like do that. stuff like that like balloon within a balloon yeah, Stuff. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you that today. I, ha- I yeah. nearly said the balloon. Yeah. I nearly said the bloom within the balloon. You can do your own balloons for the kids. Bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> so that bollocks. You know that bloom within the balloon yeah. bollocks. I'll show you how to do it today. Oh, <laughs> there you go. There you go. Put yeah, I'm just saying. Yeah. So, with regards to your balloons, how they must take up because some of it, I've had some of your balloons for the kids yeah. before, and they are. Huge. Yeah, but she doesn't store them all blown up. No, I no. know that, but she must make them. Yeah, yeah, and I do, must yeah. take up so much room. Yeah, I do. It can take ages. Right? Yeah, I do it in Jacob's room, and like he hates it. It's like so, it's so messy in here because obviously I have my balloons out. Um, he's getting used to it now. Is this your but, son? Yeah, because yeah. oh, right, okay. we've only got like a three bedroom house. I do it at home. Um, obviously we've got our room, and then Jacob's got his. He's got the bigger room compared to Ruby, so I just store them on these like chest of drawers. It's all in a box. Um, but yeah, so obviously when I have balloons, I have to like put them in his room. 
Um, but he's used to it now. I think. So you don't you rock up to a venue with them down and do the display when you're at the venue. Yeah, and I do sometimes blow some up at home, especially like the small balloons. Mm. Um, just saves you a little bit of time. time yeah. Obviously, I've got a car. I've not got a fan. Um, but I normally calculate that time. If someone says you've only got an hour for a setup, I'll be like, oh my god. And then I'll try and blow as much as I can up at home mm. um, and then do it when you get there. Yeah, but the good thing is you could park outside and start, couldn't you? Or not? Park outside where? Park outside the venue and start. I don't know, because sometimes, no, oh, well, I don't know. I'd have to maybe plug. You're welcome. The space, sorry. Oh. <laughs> um, Did you spare me? Yeah. I just don't want to keep, I'm going to rub it into my paws. Yeah, a bit moisturiser. <laughs> He's going to just like, a tink yeah. spit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Inside that. Yeah, all right, we're <laughs> No, but yes, I just, I mean, if I if I want to do like a good job, I do like at least a couple of hours and I know that I'll do the best job. But if you've got an hour, um, sometimes you're just rushing. You're like, you don't want anyone to talk to you, which mm-hmm. obviously I like talking. So I'm like, I'm really sorry. I can't talk. And mm-hmm. you just obviously have to just bang it out. But if you've got like things to set up, like my sail balls are really heavy. Mm-hmm. Like you pick them up and you're like, this is really heavy. Like when you carry them. <laughs> Your sail balls? Yeah. What are they? Um, Am I being stupid? Yeah, well, there's like, um... Like an MDF, like a, I don't know how to explain it. Right, so you connect the balloons to it? Yeah, like, yeah. obviously it's just like a wooden, like, like MDF, stand. Paint, yeah, stand. Yeah. And it's a bit like, just like a tomb, I don't know, not tombstone, but you know what I mean? Like, like an arch. Arch, arch yeah. Oh, yeah, you yeah, make yeah, yeah. Oh, right, an arch, okay. or you've got one that's got like, um, like the bit out of the middle missing. Mm. Um, and then you right. just put like... Um, you use it as a frame. Hooks at the back. A frame. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then okay. you can put writing on it if you want. Okay. And stuff like that. And the um, things go wrong? Like things pop just before people turn up. Yeah, you can you can have that or like flowers. I've learnt that with flowers, oh, sometimes you've got to, yeah, you've got to tie them in. Like because if you do the ones at the top, they can just fall forward. Mm. Um, so you've got to tie them in, and then obviously like if it's hot in the summer day, um, like certain blues, especially black, black. Like obviously the sun, uh, black attracts yeah. the sun, so they're, yeah. they're more, the darker colours more likely really? to pop. Um, yeah, and they're more likely to pop. So you have to overstretch mm. them and stuff like that, and they also like. Oxidize, so it's sort of a shiny color. They'll okay. go matty. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So obviously you can get some spray and stuff. But if I was in here, I probably wouldn't even spray them because mm. it makes the floor slippy. So you mentioned flowers. Do you bring no, flowers into it? Are they real flowers? That you no, artificial. Oh, right, yeah, okay. just artificial flowers. And you've never been in. asked to sort of collaborate with a florist before and do it with real flowers or anything before? No, I haven't. No. Okay. No, I normally just use artificial flowers yeah. in my displays, and you just mm. take them home and reuse them. Yeah, mm. that's good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Brilliant. So how how long would your displays last then? So if you were doing a wedding or a show or a, a wedding fair or something like that, how just, long? <laughs> really? Yeah, because it's air. Like if it's made up of air, they could be there like for two months. Wow. So if you left them there, you might get like the odd one that does go down. Yeah. Obviously, we- uh, weather dependent uh, as well. They might go down like because of that or pop. Um, but yeah, display would last ages. Like you can just leave it up. And it'll be fine. But if it's helium, then obviously it's a different story. Yeah. Um, but some of the stuff that I'll probably show you today, like... Um, Can I ask, why is it a different story with helium? Why does helium go down quick? Do you know? I don't actually know, no. <laughs> but it just doesn't last. Like, if you was to, if you was to do them, like, um, out of... I say like a lot. So, sorry. That's all right. And um, um and like, I say a lot. If you was to do um, a balloon, for example, and I was to blow it up, it would last maybe six to 12 hours. But if I was to put something in called high float, it makes the balloon last a lot longer. Um, which you usually tell customers 24 to 36 hours. Um, but when I do mine, they normally last about a week. Uh, but I, I you just can't tell someone that they, it, they last that helium, long. Yeah. Helium's yeah. lighter than air. So if it's lighter yeah. than air, it must be thinner than air. So it must come out of the knot easier. Yeah, that. <laughs> I, don't, I'm not going, no, I don't actually know. I mean, <laughs> helium's just so expensive. I just don't do it anymore. You just start, it's not enough work. To what, like, helium? Yeah. Oh, just, really? Honestly, it's so expensive. I mean, some places still do it. Um, but I just weren't doing it all the time. I was mm. maybe doing like um, the um, bubbles with the balloons inside, mm. yeah. which are quite popular. But then they just get really expensive. And then you're looking at, like, I was charging like £22. Now you're looking at £30 just for the smaller one. And then it goes up and up. Yeah. Um, it just, just wasn't worth... The thing is, if you're connecting them all anyway and doing yeah. an arch, you don't need helium, do you? No, exactly. Really. No, a lot of it's like air designs anyway. Yeah. Mm. You and just you... have one that needs to dangle, then you need helium for it. But... Yeah, I mean, a lot mm. of people at home, I'll tell you this, um, <laughs> is they'll get a glue dot, blow a balloon up, put the glue dot on the end of the balloon, put it on the ceiling, have the ribbon down, perfect. Oh. Saves money. Oh, like, balloon right. dot. Glue dot. Yes. Not, <laughs> yeah. Make a note. Glue dot on not, the balloon first, not on the ceiling, because yeah. otherwise you won't yeah. get it off the ceiling. 
Okay. Whereas if it sticks on the blue first, then you can yeah, and then it should come off with the blue. Make a note, not hot melt glue. No, yeah, just a blue <laughs> dot. Like from just go to the power shop or anywhere like that. I'll get just probably give some advertisement there, but like just a glue dot from anywhere. Just cut that bit. Um, a glue dot from anywhere, and then just put that on. Perfect. Yeah, oh, nice. and then we just start. And you find it's profitable. Yeah, you. definitely. I yeah. I find that um, more ones at venues you know like if you're doing a big setup that's yeah. more profitable mm-hmm. um i think that's where the money is whereas when you're doing like like home stacks you could be there two three hours doing it like a stack because yeah. you're adding a lot of detail um it doesn't always go right i'll i'll go and do say for example um like a mermaid shell and it'll pop on me mm. I'll, and i'm like oh, i've got to do it again and then it's yeah. like you're wasting stock so yeah. then like it might not be a lot like a lot it might be wasting like 10 15p but mm. that all adds up and then it's yeah. my time yeah. so you've got to work out all of that um, but I do enjoy it. I do, do enjoy doing birthday stacks, especially like when you've added all like the detail, like that Mario one I did for you. I can't remember if I added the toad in yours, but I do that now. Yes, at the um, bottom. Yeah. yeah, and I'd obviously add a lot more of those sort of details. But the problem is with like modelling balloons, they don't last as long. Mm. So you do them in a display and it looks good for like a few days and they start to wilt down. Mm. But that's why you have to tell your customers, don't touch them. Like, yeah. <laughs> make sure your kids don't touch it because as soon as they touch it, It'll start, it's, yeah. yeah, yeah, of course. But that's the only thing. So they'll pay a lot of money and then they'll start seeing those little bits go mm. down. But the latex um, and the foils usually stay up yeah. as long as they look I, after I remember having that up in Ted's because I moved it from the kitchen where it was into Ted's bedroom and he had it in weeks. Yeah. Weeks and weeks and weeks. But I remember trying to get it, getting it in my car. I picked it up from yours. I was like, right, okay, I've got to try and get it in my car. I was like, this isn't going yeah. to fit. It was mm. so big. Yeah, that's the only thing. Thinking, Damn, I'm going to have to take all the seats out of the back, push it all in. Yeah, because you do get people turn up in small cars. They've mm. got a display and then they'll turn up and I'm like, you are not getting that in there. Like, mm. And then you've got to try and help them get it in there. And I'm like, when you get that out, you need to be careful because yeah. we've obviously just tried to get that in and you've got to be careful when you get it out. Yeah. And obviously like foils, for example, in the cold weather, they shrink. Yep. Um, and then they, when you go back indoors, they take like That's 20 right. minutes, 20, 30 minutes yeah. to go back up. Um, so obviously they get in the car, they think, oh, okay. And then they just yank it out. And then you've obviously used really like strong glue dots mm. on them to like stick something yep. together. And if they rip that, then they can't stick it back together. Yeah. And you're like, oh, no. So, so what's your biggest project to date that you've done? And you think, oh, God, that, that looked good, took forever, but it was my best project or the most fun that you've had doing it or... Oh, well, obviously, the one just I can think of off the top of my head is my sister's wedding. Mm-hmm. So I did hers, and a lot of her balloons were, like, double-stuffed, so oh, which right. is a balloon inside a balloon to yep. create a custom <clears throat> colour. Um, and it did take me, like, ages, because I've never done a sailboard before. It's my first one. Obviously, you look at ideas online, I might not like them. I might mm. I don't want mine to look like that. Yeah. And sometimes you're not really sure going in what it's actually going to look like. So you have to look at it, step back, see if you like it. Um, and then just adapt until you lo- you you like your design. Mm. Um, but I literally loved that. Honestly, I looked at it and I said, "That's the bollocks." <laughs> I'm not even joking. That's what I said. I was like, I couldn't really post it on social media because they'd probably be like, "Oh God, check her out!" Like swearing. <laughs> yeah. I was like, maybe I won't put that. But then at the same time, then they'll know me. Hashtag the um, Honestly, I was like, I'm the bollocks. Like I'm so good. Like I actually felt. <laughs> I know it's big headed to say, but. So I how, do you think that. How sometimes. long did that take you? Because I've seen those pictures of your work. Um, your sister's wedding. Well, I did like the day before. I blew a lot of them up because obviously we had to go and get ready. I had to I had to go and pick up donuts beforehand. Because you so, were a bridesmaid. Oh, yeah. Really? yeah. So the time I got there was like just after nine, and I think obviously I took all pictures. So and I did um, an easel as well. So mm-hmm. obviously with the easel and that took me two hours, but I'd blown up quite a lot the day before. Um, but that was me because I wanted to be really fussy. I had. Never done that before. Mm. Um, so, yeah, and obviously setting up the sailboards and mm. stuff like that. So it probably took me maybe more three hours, um, but that's taking photos as well. Yeah. And I was doing an easel. Yeah. Um, and like trying to put the flowers on my easel was quite tricky to get in the right placement. So sometimes things like that hold you up. But I suppose when you get used to that and get used to if someone else, you know, in five years' time, said, oh, I want, I've seen this, I want this. You'll be used to it. Oh, God, so yeah. You can be like, yep, done, yeah, yeah, dusted. Yeah, yeah. If I was to go in and do like a moon gate, which is a hoop, um, I could probably do do that within an hour and blow mm. them all up there mm. because I know it's easy. I know what I'm doing. Um, it's quite simple to do. Um, so I'd be quick. Yeah. Um, but if it was something a bit more like they wanted like, it to come out to the side and a little bit um, a little bit more detailed and stuff, then it would probably take me a little bit longer yeah. because I want to do a good job. Yeah. So it just depends. Is there a trend at the moment people want? Um... 
Well, so no. I mean, sail boards are a bit of a trend at the minute. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people have um, the sail boards. It just depends. Like, a lot of people like have they like to be different. Mm. Yeah. So they'll like if you look if you were to look on like Instagram or somewhere like that, you'll see like all these different designs, like butterflies and stuff like that. But all these props cost money. Like mm. you, if you you you'll pay out of your own money, yeah, yeah. and then you've got to wait to get that profit back, which Absolutely. is like any business, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, so you've obviously constantly getting stuff but then it's also storing it where are you yeah. going to store yeah. it yeah. like my mum and dad poor them I just, my dad's like where's all this stuff going I'm like your house yeah. like they've got a big house but I've got a massive dinosaur at home like in my shed but I need to put it somewhere like, I'm like Matt's like just give it away I'm like no I don't want to yeah, like, but I'm not that. actually used it yet because not many people have have a dinosaur theme mm. so if they have a dinosaur theme they could have my big dinosaur honestly Jacob loved dinosaurs yeah. so that's why I got it um, and I wanted it for his party but I couldn't find one like a good price because they were like you can't really get them anymore. Yep. They're just discontinued. But yeah, I would like to do a dinosaur theme. Another one. Well, Simon's fifty in August. You can you always dinosaur theme. You lift it. Oh my god, that'd be so good. You can dress up as like what's the one? In, what, what are they? Um, T Rex. No, not T Rex. I've got T Rex. Oh, T Rex um, costume you can wear if you want. There we go. That'd be perfect. Velocity, Velociraptors. Yeah, and the kids Barney can be like dinosaur the safari car. <laughs> perfect. What a safari a safari car balloon display? No, no like you know, like oh, you've made out. I've actually got a safari car. Yeah, like well, obviously I'd have to like I use it for Jacob. My friend made it for me. <laughs> but imagine, imagine the kids can be in there. there. <laughs> you could be the dinosaur. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. And I could be running. What could fifty if that'll be? Yeah. Oh great. Yeah. Yeah. I can't wait for a dinosaur party. Yeah. In August, so it'll be so yeah. Oh my god, that's so good. I love that theme. That's brilliant. Oh, no, yeah. I can't, I can't I'll wait. Make it note. I'll be disappointed if you don't. <laughs> Costume, blow up. I, I know. I've worked, I've worked out. You got the costume. Yeah. I think we got a blow up T Rex somewhere. Yes, that's when I got T Rex. You can have that if you want to blow up T Rex. Uh, Why not you... be easier? Like a life size blow up T Rex. Mm. I think we got. Oh, not the well, one. Not you get life in. size. Not the one you get in. No. no. Oh. no it's just a, like a whole blow up life size. So you have to sit there and be like. <clears throat> <laughs> well, you know with them though, you can use um, hand pumps. You know, like blue yeah, pumps. I've got blow up. Oh yeah, something like that. that. I thought you meant in his mouth. He's sitting there. He has done before and he's like, oh, I've got yeah. a pacemaker. Yeah. You stop clonking that down. I'm going to drink some of my tea, by the way. It's probably cold. Have you drunk yours? Yeah. When did yeah. you drink that? I just drink as I go, I oh. think. Uh, so, yeah. this is going to sound really weird, but are there different, obviously there's foil balloons and yep. normal balloons. Are there any other balloons that you work with? There you go, because obviously I don't know balloons. I don't <clears> know. I just, like, I obviously use latex balloons every day um, and they're actually biodegradable. Like, if you use, obviously, like the good makes, like, mm. I always go for like, Expensive makes that balloon. Um, um, I don't know what I'm saying now. Um, balloon specialist, sort of. Like yeah, like yeah, like yeah, like. retailer. But I always, always, always buy mine from there. Mm. Um, I mean, sometimes you can't get some sort of balloons. You obviously have to make, like, might have to make them. Mm. Honestly, balloon modelers, I have so much respect for them. You like, have to so make hard. balloons. Yeah, like that's two sixty. Well, so, like you know, like if you see my de designs and there's like a flower on there, for example, right. I'll have to make that. Obviously, you can buy balloons like that, but then that's more money. Yeah. Um, and then lots like, of forms obviously cost a lot more money than latex. And I feel like um, like two sixty balloons, which obviously we can uh, demonstrate in a minute. <gasps> um, they obviously do take time, but they obviously don't last as long. But they do put a lot of detail into the balloon. Okay. And it looks nice. Perfect. But yeah, latex, um, foils, um, which is, oh, I think it's just latex and foils I can think of off the top of my head. Has anyone asked you for something really random and you said, what the hell? Or you've done like a hen party and they've asked you for like a massive cock or something? No, no one's actually like asked me. Like, like, I feel like I'm busy, but it's all like like Disney or do you know what I mean? Like yeah. then sort of, sort of things. Um, I'm just trying to think if I've had anything a bit. And you've thought... How am I going to do that? Well, I did, have, I did have one. Night where it was just it was a Wednesday one. They didn't do Wednesday balloons right. at the time. And I was like, well, how do you do Wednesday? Because... Oh, you mean from the Adams family? Yeah. Because right. like, it was a big thing. Just the word Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday. 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 But Wednesday will come back out again, won't you? Yeah. Uh, when, obviously, they do the <clears> next <throat> series. Um, and I was like, I have no, no clue. But I've mm. got like this um, like balloon friend that does modelling. Um, and she does tutorials. So I paid for a tutorial. Um, which obviously I've got and I can keep looking. It took, honestly, it took me hours. Um, <laughs> so you did the whole Wednesday look, yeah, black, black I, outfit, white collar yeah, type. Yeah, wow. honestly, I have balloons. I wouldn't be able to do it now. I'd have to like watch my Go YouTube back, video yeah, yeah, that yeah. she sent me. Um, but And then I did the hand thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I was honestly, it looks so good. I was well impressed. Oh. Um, but yeah, they, they, them things like take ages. And I had another one. I can't remember what the theme was. I don't know if it was like 90s, 1980s theme. And I did a gizmo. Honestly, it was so good. Oh, obviously. Right, from um, 
Gremlins. Gremlins, yeah. yeah. Um, obviously, the same woman I actually done me a tutorial. It was over the phone. She was well good. I was like, you need to slow down. I was like, <laughs> oh, please, like, please, please, please. Yeah, I really enjoyed doing it though. Twisting is so hard, but mm. it's so good at the same time because you do look at it and you do feel impressed mm. with what you've done, um, which I would like to learn it, to be fair. Mm. Um, but it's quite, I don't know. I think once you know the art, it becomes easy. Yeah. So it wasn't just like a video. She, You said to her, I want to do Gizmo. Yeah. And then she would teach her it straight away there and then. Well, yeah, she just obviously done it for me. She was like, when do you need it? I was like, tomorrow. So oh, she made it, made it for you. So she just literally was on the video, called to me, and she was just basically telling me what to do. Um, cause she can just do it like that. Mm. So she you, and you recorded the video. No, because it was on WhatsApp. So that one, mm. I could obviously ask her for a video of it. She'll probably <clears> do me one. But the Wednesday one, she recorded it and sent it to me. Mm. Um, and then obviously I had to pay for that video, mm. which I've got now. So where's she from? Is she from? Oh, she's around here. Oh, is she? I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure she's. I don't. I can't remember. I know it's around here somewhere. Mm, honestly, right. she's so good. You have to get her in here. Yeah. <laughs> yes, honestly, she's so good, and she's a really good face painter as well. Like, oh, okay. insane. Oh, right, it's weird. Dantastics. I know. We get. She's really good. Dantastics. I'm pretty sure it's fantastic. I know. Really another, I know another balloon molder and face painter. They all, they all seem to d- come together. Face yeah. painting and balloon molding. Yeah, she's so talented though. Really talented. Mm. I mean, she says to me, she'll be like, oh my God, you're so good at this. Mm. Like, so she'll say that to me and I'm like, well, I think you're really talented. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's like, do you know what I mean? I think that's her art and yeah. then this is my yeah, art. Yeah, just combine them together. Yeah, yeah. Brilliant. But, yeah. Right. right. What do you want to do? Shout out to those? Things? Yeah. <laughs> you do know, I, I, I've got a bit of a phobia of balloons. So what do you want to do? Pop so as many as you do want you want to learn how to put the balloons inside a balloon? Or I can show you how to do a snowflake or a flower. We can do a couple. Do the one. Okay. Oh, we're do, you can see how hard work this is. Right? Oh, we've got a plug socket. We have. Uh, yeah, because I need plug socket. We've got a plug socket. I can sort that out for you. A little bag, look. <laughs> I know. Uh, look at, little... You know, a lot of pa- pe- um, some balloon people will be like, oh, you're not professional if you've got a pink pump, but oh, it works. Right. Really? I don't know, because it's cheap. So like, obviously this, you're probably looking at £15. Mm. Um, I did have a green one, but it broke. Um, <laughs> But I love my green one. Um, but yeah, like I just think if you can blow, if you can do balloons, you can do balloons. Doesn't yeah. mean you're not professional. Um, so there's my plug. <laughs> what well, what's the difference between green and blue then? Oh, nothing. The green one's just the same as that. Just yeah. the green. You can get other colours. Um, so I've had that one years, like a long time. That one never actually. Um, okay. So it's right. literally just a colour thing. They're, they're judging you on the colour of your pump. Well, oh, <laughs> I better let me take this back. Oh, got, like, sorry. Um, Go on. <laughs> Why don't you make a chair or podcast balloon display? I can't, I've got, I haven't, I can't, oh, yeah. she literally got that. <laughs> oh, yeah, I literally got this, I'm going to show you. Well, you could do it in the colours, you've done it in the yeah. colours for us, look yeah. at her, she's thought about it. I have, I literally thought about that. I'm going to get my pumps, don't I, this one? These two pumps look exactly the same, don't they? Yes. Yeah. Alright, this one's a proper make, this one's a cheap knockoff. Yeah. This is actually shit. It looks the same, that's shit. <laughs> I honestly got it. Thank you. Yeah. No, you know when you see something, I was like, it's exactly the it, same. Yeah, I got it for half the price, and I was like, it just doesn't blow up the same. What threw yeah. me was the handle of it. The handle looks slightly different than the other one. That I've one's got, got a bigger handle. Okay. I think so. Are you sure? Or oh, maybe slightly. No, the, I meant this bit, sorry. Oh. Really. Oh, yeah, just slightly. Look at your got, eyes. It's got a flat bit Baby on it. Eyes. That, that's got a flat <laughs> bit on it, and that hasn't. They've all the little balls in there where I've used like little balls that's obviously got stuff in there. <laughs> so yeah. this one don't work as well. No, I'm not going to give you that one. I've got two. I know, I don't know that. I've got two decent ones. Oh, you just broke it. No, I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm fixing it. I'm looking at it. It's because of that. If you replace the size of that, this little thing here, it'll work better. Oh, uh, I thought it broke it. it. <laughs> yeah. I thought we literally got that broke it straight away. I was like, great. No, no I we, we use my the... decent ones. <laughs> I did it on purpose. That's, that's engineering Simon coming out. Now he has broken it. Now he's spreading it. There you go. Right, thank you. Right, let me uh, get me uh, out. Let me sh- you can have the straw. I'll use this, this balloon oh, stick. Oh, clear that. Yeah, honestly, wait till you stretch these. Oh, so I've you got do, a straw. Do you know I hate Oh, I love it. <laughs> my, my friend, um, or our friends, they're actually you put, tense. You put that on the side and hold that. 
Ted and Tilly's godparents for Christmas once. They knew that I don't like balloons, so they bought me a balloon modelling kit. And then they all decided to get it out and be like, oh, oh, it's oh just, really? It's the noise, it's like the squeakiness of it, it's the texture. It's like, I'm excited. Yeah. So, <laughs> what so, have I got to start? Put that down, we don't need that yet. <laughs> it's like having a child. It's like having a child. Put it down. See, we're not touch these sort of stuff. Oh, it's just off. Oh. Uh, yeah, so, it's, it's not, not as latex. bad. Look. No, no you're used to wearing right, it. Right, okay. So, <laughs> not really right, not. so with these, these are called bobos, okay? You get obviously different size necks and stuff. I mean, this could fit an elf in, so I don't have to cut the balloon open. Oh. So if you ever see like flowers inside balloons, yeah. sometimes you have to cut the balloon open or clothes inside the balloon, you'll have to cut the balloon open this to one's, get in. This one's quite damaged. Is it um, going to blow It should up? be fine. Yeah, it should be fine. So <laughs> what you have to do before you blow them up is you've got to stretch them. But honestly, try and stretch really? them. Like yeah, you've got to just literally go around the edge and then keep yeah. stretching them. Around oh, the edge. Yeah. Honestly... <laughs> What if my nails go in? Who's got shit on no, nails? But, yeah, work. but you just got to go around the edge of it and just pull and it starts getting a bit looser. Because <laughs> I, I, ages ago, for my mum and dad's um, wedding anniversary once, I spoke to a balloon company and I said, look, if I send you like $250, they were going to America. So if I send if I send you $250, can you put it in this balloon for me? And they're like, yeah, sure. And it came in one like that with yeah. loads of like American flags in it, American chocolate, everything like that That's as well. Right now. And you just got to just find this bit and then open it up. So I'll show you what I need to do first. Can I go back a bit, yeah? Yeah. So, obviously, this one doesn't work unless I push that one, yeah? Oh, so it only right. works if you do that one, but I okay. don't need that one. So, obviously, the reason we stretch this is that when we blow the bubble up, uh, the bubble up, it should go around in a perfect circle, so the seam should be directly in the middle. Okay. Whereas if we didn't do that, it would literally probably go to one side, one side would be bigger than the okay. other. Okay. What I suggest you do is don't talk when you use the blower. Only talk when you've stopped using the blower. Okay, did I just use it? No. <laughs> But no one will hear you yeah, when yeah, the blower's yeah, yeah. going, all right? Right, so just going to blow it out to stretch I'm still it. trying to get you up. You're open. <laughs> Listen, that doesn't sound right for everyone just listening. So, like, you look Whoa. at that. Oh, we're going to hold it tight. It's like it should be even the whole way around. Yeah? Okay. So you see that line is in the middle. Yes. If you do mess up, we can try and sort it out. And then I'm just going to let it down for the minute, and then you can do yours. Do you want me to open it for you? Yeah. <laughs> I'll find the hole. <laughs> Story Story like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so there you go. That was hard. You're so excited. I'm just doing that. Yeah, you might want to just like um, wrap it around. Yeah, make sure it's yeah, tight. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, and then. Stop. And then we'll look perfect, and then let it down for the minute. You can leave a bit of air in there if you want. That's it. But okay, that's, so that's now just to make sure stretch it's the same. It. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just to stretch oh. it, and then you're just going to grab like a colour. Uh, choose that obviously whatever colour you're going to put in. I'll show you first. So I'm just going to use this plastic. You're not allowed to use plastic sticks anymore in the balloon world. Really? Yeah. It's, if it's They've single got to be use. Paper one. Yeah, like cardboard. I mean, I actually prefer. Is it really ones. straws that are killing the earth? Yeah. Well, but, no, why have they just gone for straws? It's like an easy touch, isn't I just, it? You're not allowed to sell them. So yeah. Obviously, I've got it at home, so might as well use it. So I just use it as a straw. You charged me a quid for that earlier. What? That's plastic stick. Did I? Yeah, bang oh. out of all that. <laughs> Sorry. And then when you put, so I obviously put the balloon on yeah, the yeah, end, yeah. open this again. You can like cut this a little bit if you need to, if it's you struggling a little bit. Oh, is that bit. what I'm using the straw for? Yeah, uh, yes, yeah, so you just put it in. And then what yeah. you're going to do from here, so I just poke that in. Let us show, show you first. first. Yeah. <laughs> and then we're going to let it go. Find my balloon pump. Just make sure that you're holding it a little bit so that it's not going to go. Oh, I see. And then I'm just going to blow, just do a couple of pumps, grab the neck, maybe let oh, a little do you bit really do? Grab that neck, didn't you? Yeah, and then you have to just, obviously, I do like a little scissors pinch, like that, with those two fingers. Yeah. Put my thumb on top. Yeah. Go round the outside, and then just bring it oh, through my you, thumb. You are the balloon knotting master. And pull. Just make sure that the plastic doesn't get caught. And then to make it neat, you just grab your scissors, snip oh, yeah. in a little bit of that neck. So you can actually it's stretch cool. balloons quite a lot then. Yeah, but Depends on the size. Depends on the size. Right. So this, this is actually an 18 inch. Okay. Um, so it's obviously you just have to kind of like work out 18 inch unless you've got balloon size and mm. to say that's 18 inch. I'm pretty sure. Oh, because you can, yeah, you can, you can blow them up in certain diameters, can't you? So you can actually blow them up to, in, in circle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Depth. It depends obviously on the size. You get five inch ones, which yep. obviously literally blow up tiny. Yeah. So it depends on the one you've got. So obviously here, I can't get much in there. So yep. what I'm going to have to do, and this is where it starts getting challenging, is to put a bit of air in which you can use the pump. Are you alright? Yeah, I've got it open now. So put the... Sh oh, you can do that if you want. You might want the straw in a bit, though. I'm, I'm a protein. No, oh, right, I don't need the straw. Put, no, oh, not right. on, in a minute you will, probably. Right. And then grab your pump or this one if you want the pump. <laughs> yeah. Maybe turn your hand the other way so that it don't look so awkward. 
That's it. <laughs> He's sitting there like that. Oh. Just kind of get pear shaped. That's only because it didn't go up oh, the shaft. There you go. Oh, yours is like, I've let that down and then do it again. Oh, no. <laughs> I like the shape of the egg. I like the egg. See, the egg. <laughs> but you need a little bit of that, that air out. Is it a tiny it? little balloon then? So it would Yeah, it's only five that. inches. So, I mean, this is probably about four and a half. I know where it's coming from. Two. Mate. Yeah. <laughs> you know your inches. So, <laughs> <laughs> right, here we go. so no. doing that scissor ping all yeah. the way around. No, yeah. go back. You've got to put your thumb on top of it. So put your thumb there yeah. and then go around your thumb and then put that in your thumb oh, and your yes. finger and pull it through. So pinch it between your fingers. Yeah, I've got it. Yeah. Have you? Yeah. <laughs> it hasn't. It hasn't. <laughs> got it. You sure? You like it, oh, no, I <laughs> I'm just struggling. Right, so put your thumb on top yeah. over here. Over here, yeah? And yeah. now go over the top and round and then bring it around. No, wait. Go through. So you just come round. Oh, round here. And then pinch it between them two fingers. I think they just oh. oh. broke your pump now. I'll buy you oh, no, you're not even joking. It's fine. All you've lost is the um, top. That, that didn't really screw in anyway, so don't worry because it was on my other pump. Oh, my <laughs> I Sorry. let my pump out to someone, they lost stuff on it or broke it. So. I'll buy you it. Fine. Yeah, he broke it. Yeah, he broke Bye, it. Despite <laughs> the sponsors, the Cherub Podcast sponsors will buy it for you. <laughs> no, it's fine. Right, and then normally you would cut the neck <clears> off, but oh, don't yeah, worry. Shit, yeah. If, <laughs> No, I'm going to do it right. Right, okay. You did say cut it off. I did, yeah. Plus, you obviously it. forgot. I'll have some tea while he's there. <laughs> yeah. If anyone wants to tune in later, you're more than welcome. Look at that. Only this was live. We'd be here for about 10 hours. Look at that. This is just one simple balloon. Imagine him being your assistant for like a balloon arch. Or something. No, it does take time, like to teach someone. There we go. I thought it was going to cut. And then, no, because it's the balloon. Yeah. Of the but obviously, you can't really get another balloon in there. So you're no. going to have to either use this. Yeah. Or you can just use your pump, which I'm going to use, <coughs> if I can do the same as you. What's that one for then? Why is that so one even there? I'm going to blow two balloons at the same time. <laughs> and then I'm just going to put a bit there in it. Right, and then pinch it and hold it. Don't let any air out. Oh, I've let air out. That's right, as long as you can get a few in there. Right, hold it. Right, and now you can't let any air around. Now you've got to grab another balloon. So pick maybe another colour that you haven't put in there. We normally put about nine in, but we don't yeah, have to do nine today. Yeah. And then this, some air will go. So I always hold it like this, and you have to find the middle. Yeah. And then you let a bit of air out to poke oh, it. Oh, I see. And then yeah. obviously this straw is not ideal. This one, your one's better. But it's like a, like a gynecological examination. Yeah, you know, <laughs> see, sometimes it can hurt your hands. Especially if you've got loads of them, you've got a pinch. Is there not a, like a little thing that you can pinch it for? Is there not like a little? So there is like um, some there is some sort of something. There is, but I've tried it. And I just it's, I don't get on with it. I'm mm. so used to doing this. So you've got it in, yeah. Yeah. And then you obviously get your little hand pump, and you've got to try and quickly poke that nozzle in, ready to blow another one. <laughs> try not to let too much air out. We can always add air in a mm. minute, and then do the same thing. So I normally, as I go over, by the way, I do this. So over. And then I usually use that finger just to support it while I, while I grab it. <laughs> it's just like a, it's like a tic tac. Yeah. Like a dog's cock. Yeah. Your lips are coming out. <laughs> hey, you did a good job though. That's it, and then we need to tie it. Where's the thing? You can take the thing out your mouth. Right. Sorry, Tim, that's got my I'll be I'll give that in my mouth, I'll give it out. Oh, look, you've let it all so down. That's all right. Here. I can get away with that, though. I can get away with the outside going down. Can't I think? Mm, yeah. <laughs> because I can blow it up again once yeah, I've got yeah, this knocked down. Yeah, of course. Sometimes it can just change the shape of the balloon, but you might be all right. Your first attempt, I'll let you off. That's gone. Right, here we go. Now, over top. Yeah. <laughs> Round. Yeah. Put in between your both fingers and just pull your finger through. Yeah. So can, can these bits pop then? So you can. have done sort of like a whole thing and then you've gone. Yeah, fuming. Because oh then all these little balloons come out yeah. and you've got to start again because you can't really get them back in. in yeah, of um, Oh, But so yeah, so that's normally if like you catch your nail or you catch yeah. something sharp on it. Um, especially if you're doing like a flower inside it and yeah. then you catch that, that is frustrating. Oh. So done. You want to blow a bit more up and then pick another colour. Obviously, we don't have to put nine so in. So I'm going to be starting my own business in this now. Yeah, can you imagine that? Flipping out. She's just done a training <laughs> course for me. 
I'll be seeing pictures and they'd be like, kid's birthday. But look, here's what look we got. <laughs> Cherry, Cherry and blue. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, that sounds good. <laughs> so I don't mind helping you. Oh, bless you. <laughs> it's when he starts polder. Cherry That's polder. Yeah. Don't worry. Wait, do you know what you should do, actually? Oh my God, right. Why don't you bring your stuff to the studio and I'll teach him to pole dance. That'd be good. Teach who? Yeah. You. Oh my God. Hi. I actually get that's off on that. Some people that's call these like gumball because obviously like they're inside and then obviously they like twirl yeah, yeah. around. Yeah. But that'd be quite a good one. Yeah. You guys have come Teach and uh, pole dance. Yeah, I love it. We should do that. That'd be funny. I'm up for that. Shall, shall I wear latex? <laughs> what? <laughs> or shall I wear like something dirty? Red ball, right? The thing is, because that's I used not... to wear that. Yeah. Yeah. I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I do. I don't know. I don't know. Did you come to the studio? Yeah. I'm sure I've yeah. been for it. Yes, you yeah. did. You did come Why to the studio, and, and then you wore Lisa's leggings once. Was it Lisa's? Those unicorn type, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And they were like a size eight, and he managed to get oh, into a size eight. And Lisa said, "If you get in them, you've got to do the whole class in it." Oh, so he did. You're out there. You just got to find like what's. Yeah. Okay, you should be able to get that one in there. Because yeah. a lot, a lot of people going back to the pole thing. A lot of people say. Oh, why do you wear such skimpy clothing? It's because you need your skin yeah, to grip. stick to the pole. Yeah, I mean, well, I used to go to anti gravity, didn't I? Yeah. And oh. I used to anti gravity. Oh, anti gravity. <laughs> I, I used to go to anti gravity classes. That, that but I only used to go because it it's the same night as the pole dance. Yes. <laughs> same with the pole. Honestly, just my silly night, my ass. I like Christmas too much. <laughs> And we used to do a bit where you went up upside down on the anti gravity, and I was like, "Here we go! It's time yeah, to see yeah. the girls. It's <laughs> yeah. time to see the girls. They're behind me." The thing yeah. is, when you first start, even when I, I started off with like longer shorts, mm. and then obviously over time, you start off with like pretty much nothing. Yeah, yeah. You go in there, you're like, "Okay, that girl's in a thong." Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I did have one. I did have one that turned up one, and then they were like the shoot Yeah. And um, they was pretty much in the floor. I was mm. a bit like, oh, okay. Like, <laughs> Where do I look? <laughs> nothing wrong with it. I, I think that's hard work to be a stripper, to be honest. Because that's the thing. There's so much stigmatism <laughs> in, that the right in pole dancing. Yeah. yeah, in pole dancing. That like, If you tell someone I'm a pole dancer, the stigmatism linked to it. Stig- stigmatism. Yeah. yeah, stigmatism is through your eyes, isn't it? Stigmatism <laughs> is, is your rugby ball-shaped eyes stigma, that I've got. The stig- stigmatism. The <laughs> The stigma linked to it yeah. means that, you know, you tell people you're a pole dancer, they're like, oh, so you're a stripper then. Yeah, no, yeah, you're yeah. not. It's no. actually pole fitness. No, exactly. I don't think, though, when, when people say that, I do think, like, people will like say about strippers, but I mm. think they've got have a lot of talent. Mm. Like, it's honestly so hard to be sexy. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Like, and you've got to be confident as yeah. well. We went, to, we went to the biggest strip club in Vegas last year. Was it last year or the year, year before? before? And... Um, they were so good mm. on the pole. Yeah, that's amazing. So good, like walking in midair. Like. Yeah, I just think, I do think you have got to have some sort of talent. I mean, I don't care. Like I used to be like, oh no, it's not like a stripper. And then the more I do it, I'm like, no, actually, they've got talent. If you yeah. want to become a stripper, I'm a stripper. Yeah. Like, but even like, um, I was gonna say. It says more about them. Them saying you're a stripper says more about them. Yeah. Well, I always remember once I had a, when I lived at home. Obviously, my parents had a pole up in the living room, and then um, <laughs> my granddad came yeah. around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My grandma came out. Not for a dad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, my dad was totally posh. Um, yeah, and then uh, my grandma came out and he brought his like two friends of him, like ladies, and they were like, oh, oh, so what's that then? I've so I showed them. That was well impressed. I was like, oh, we thought he was a stripper. But that's really good, that is. I was like, oh, no, like, so I've said that I don't think they realise yeah, that he's yes. yeah, actually like, a fitness team. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Then, uh, how many got in there? Four. Oh. Look at that. Does that you if you want to get any more in? Yeah, I think I can. I think I can. I don't know if I have to, do I? Yeah, I thought I was going to go a weird shape. Oh, right, okay. So what's the most amount of balloons you could fit in there? Obviously, depending (laughs) on the size. She's talking about in another balloon. Depending on the size of the balloon. But yeah, um, this one, I normally put about nine. It it doesn't fill up the whole thing. If I'm going to do it as a display, I'd probably use that because obviously using the pump all the time um, takes a while. But um, yeah, I would probably use... I know my shit. I could just imagine if that thing. Do you need the straw? Uh, no, no, you, you have it in your lap. Oh yeah. Right by my, you got to put your mouth Mate, on I that way, huh? I bet you do that later. <laughs> I'll buy you another lovely, straw. <laughs> yeah. Luckily, I don't put my mouth around that, so you're I've all right. I've put it in my mouth, on my crutch so far. <laughs> But no, I, I know what you mean. I might like rest it on my mouth. But... You'll probably do it on purpose now, you know. Yeah, I'm like licking it. <laughs> 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 I 
had this conversation. I'll, 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 I will buy you another one. You, you know, can frame honestly, that one. No, you can frame that one. It's like you can sign it. Yeah, it's fine. Sign. Simon was like here. You want to like <laughs> sign straw from me. <laughs> it looks so fiddly. Yeah, it wouldn't and really you, take this long. And you, you have got long nails as well. So yeah, you have yeah to it's be only because really I've been careful. chatting with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is great, great for the old listener, isn't it? This pump going off. Right, so that noise, everyone, if you're just listening, <laughs> that's the air pump. Yeah. Why when he goes like, like, everyone, I'm very posh now, and he really is. Yeah. <laughs> I've got to be honest, I've gone away from your tying up technique. This works. How have so you tied? Tie balloons anyway. So yeah, it's just how it, whatever works for you. What I do doesn't mean necessarily you have to do the same. Everyone has their own like style or yeah. how they want to tie stuff. Yeah, mine's far better. <laughs> Is that what yours looks like? <laughs> Mish- James and no, some sort of brain. organ, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's like my nuts when I've had some dodgy tablet. <laughs> Job. You putting any more in I'll or you done? One more white in. So what you could do, see I've blown this up, because of this suction here, Yeah. obviously I can out. let go and it'll stay there. Yeah. Yeah. And then obviously I can then put the next one in and then I'll just poke it through and then obviously I've told the oh, whole so time. Yeah. Line on the so then I can push that and then get the next one in. God. But yeah, like long nails, I mean you can do them. <laughs> it just depends. There you go, you've done it. And then just sure. use a straw because it's so much easier to just poke the straw in. Oh, right, okay. You can do it that way if it works for you. Just whether or not they start to leak, releasing air and then poke, flows the, like pushing the balloon out. Oh, he's got skills. <laughs> They're multiplying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. So now he's going to have another thing to his bow. Yeah, I'm a, oh, yeah, balloon maker. Balloons, I'm a balloon yeah. maker. I'm a balloon artist. I think I have blown up a balloon inside a balloon before, but not. To this sort of quality latexy stuff. Yeah, a lot of people be like, oh, how do you get it inside then? I'm not sure. Like, I don't think people like realise. Yeah. There is obviously technology you can get, um, like you were saying earlier, the way you put the balloon on the end. I'm not sure about these ones. It's normally the latex that um, I've used before, but I just didn't get on with it, and I was like, I'd rather just use it, mm. do it myself. I mean, it does hurt your hands after a while. Yeah, like, I can your, imagine. Like, your thumbs are like... Can I work you now? What? Like, I'm a yeah, you might have to. <laughs> I think you can pick it up quite quick, to be fair. It's all those Johnnies. No. Ah. <laughs> <That> <laughs> I've never <laughs> used. <laughs> well, when you were twelve, and you yeah. were like, "I'm not, I'm not actually going to have sex. I'm going to blow them up as balloons." Yeah. You see, you see, you'd put Johnnies on your head and blow them up over your head. I did say to Lisa, "I want to buy." Have you seen those balloons where you can get inside them? Yes, those massive ones. Yeah, I was like, "Lisa, we need to get one." Oh, put, obviously, put right. Lisa in yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Lisa, go quiet. Can I go any bigger than that? No. Go there. Yeah, I won't go any bigger in case it pops. Here we go. So we'll try to tie this in a knot or? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Wait a minute. Tie it in a knot. I'm nearly done anyway. I've got more in, in mine than you. How many have you got then? Nine, you're at. Nine. How did you do that? I thought I was winning. Wait, I've not that it's a race. Much. <laughs> I've been doing it a long time. I suppose you ain't in it. <laughs> yeah. You're fit. But normally I would twist the neck, I know you've done it already, and these you can stretch them. So if you can't tie them, you can just pull the neck to stretch it. But once it's tied a knot, oh, I'm first it in. <laughs> I'm putting more, actually I'm going to put more air in mine before I tie a knot in mine. Oh, oh it's done more. <laughs> So then obviously if you wanted to, you can then put um, text on that, yeah. you can do whatever you want. Yeah, yeah, so you can just you? put whatever, you, whatever message you want on, or if you've got like a sticker you want to put on it, you can do that. Um, obviously we're tying a knot in this, normally I'll use one of those modelling balloons mm. to tie around it. Um, obviously these will be fine in the knot, that will stay up. So you leave us in the studio forever! Oh. Still trying to tie it. There's no catch. Let me have anything else. Oh. Look, mine's all tight. You watch yours have like a little bit of the end. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is his podcast about the leaves of pearls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, God. That's it. I, you I still haven't tied it. You can guess it. Pull it and then twist the neck if you want to. I keep messing the tying up. Oh, that noise. <laughs> twist the neck. 
Oh. So like, yeah, in your hand, twist the balloon round. Just <laughs> <laughs> and see if you can do it that way. You, I obviously might use the tying technique I showed you, but I can't get my fingers into that tie. Would you like some help now? No. <laughs> he wants to be able to say that. He done that. <laughs> oh, you tight asshole! Let me get these scissors off my lap, and I feel a bit better. That's the reason. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's all about the scissors. It's all about the scissors. All right, here we go. You done it. Nearly. Oh. I'm going to nice. give it some now. I did bring an extra blue because I wasn't sure if you was going to do it. But oh. three extra. <laughs> mm. There we go. Oh, it's that noise. That. There oh, we go. I've done it. Hey. There we go. Yay. And they're similar size. Yeah, do a little boomerang. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> At the end, they do a little boomerang of ice cream. Yeah. You got I, it, I think that's when you give it some of that, isn't it? Hey. Yes. <laughs> okay. yes. Can you boomerang on your phone? I don't know if I can boomerang on my phone. I can boomerang on mine. Any, oh, anyone? Okay. We can always do it at the end if you want. Okay. At the end. Brilliant. Yeah, we'll yeah. put them up. We have them yeah. down there from there. Yeah. See how long they last. Obviously, little balloons inside will go down eventually, but the outside balloon should be fine. Bless you. Thank you, my so darling. That's so good. Cool. Teaching us. Did you want to learn anything else? Or that I don't know. No, we, I don't know how long we've been going for, actually. I can't see the time. Yeah. fun. So, I've, I've got some more poll questions, though. Yeah, thank you. It's all right. I'm distracted now. Yeah. <laughs> She's having the balloon. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine, but it's just the... Stay down there. Um, so how... So you... Did you have to train to be a pole instructor? Or did you sort of learn it yourself and then teach others? So yeah. to start with, um, there was no qualifications. You just had to have insurance, which obviously we have. Um, and um, yes, yeah, so it just started off like that. And then obviously as time comes up, go, went on, um, they obviously started bringing out qualifications. So you have to be qualified. Um, so obviously we have two courses mm-hmm. to go on to um, do that. So yeah, if you want to be an instructor, you've got to go on a course. course to, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's quite a few courses that you've got to uh, do. Are there any do's or don'ts that you would suggest? Like if you've got a class and someone says, oh, I've, I've done a few pole lessons before. Is there any sort of... I normally, if someone's like done it before, I normally just test the water, see what they can do. Because some people will be like, oh, yeah, I'm an intermediate. And then when you actually see it, they're actually a beginner. Yeah. So it just depends. Um, you're better off just being like, look, I'm going to start off like very simple. Um, and obviously, if you see they're picking it up easy, then you can obviously then move on. Or they'll say, I've done a handspring. Yeah. So you kind of know the sort of level they are anyway. Um, I mean, one thing that does get me is sometimes you'll get someone in the class, they bring their friend with them. You're their beginner. Yeah. You'll be obviously showing them and then you'll show the rest of the class because there might be a different level in a class. And then you turn around and their friend's showing you, showing their friend the move that they've never learned, don't know what to do. <laughs> and you're like, no, you're going to hurt yourself. Yeah. Obviously, I don't have a go at them or shout yeah. or embarrass anyone, but I'm like, please don't do that. Yeah, yeah. Because they're just going to end up injuring themselves. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I know they want to do it. Have you ever got injured doing pole yourself? Oh my God, I'm injured at the minute. Are you? Literally. I literally did moves the other day. I pulled my groin. Oh. It wasn't even that bad. And then I started doing all... Honestly, it was, you would have loved it if you was there. I was up there shaking <laughs> my bum on that pole. It's not laughing to work, I'm trying. But it was... Lisa had the boogie bounce on, so it was like, shake, shake, shake. Yeah. Right. But I hadn't yeah. pulled my hip on that. I pulled it before that, but also I just kept going. Um, yeah, but obviously that's... And my shoulder injury. You normally get... T- shoulder injuries are quite um, common... Um, I bet stiff shoulders are common, aren't they? Having stiff yeah, shoulders. Yeah, you know, I mean, obviously we cool down. I mean, when I first started, I never cooled down. It's mm. the worst thing I ever did. Mm. Um, I mean, there was a move that I could do years ago. I can't do it now. My touch shoulders are too tight. Really? Yeah, they're so tight. Then because your hands are so close together like this, mm. and you're going back, they have just not got that flexibility. And obviously, where I've had in shoulder injuries over over um, time, I think it just makes it tighter. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I've got um, a back injury as well, but that's not for a pole. I actually slipped down my sister's stairs. Because oh. you, you broke your ankle, didn't yeah. you? You broke your leg. Honestly, but again, I'm... that was never nothing to do with pole. No, exactly. <laughs> and I pulled a ligament under my toes as well. Like, honestly, oh. when I walked in these boots, oh, the crunch under my toe. Oh. But I'm still going. Yeah. I've got a physio tomorrow. I think last tomorrow. time I see you, you had something on your leg, on yeah, your ankle. Cast, yeah, because yeah, I broke my ankle, cast, didn't I? Yeah. But that was up a mountain, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, well, I'm doing That's it again. It. I'm, I'm not going to break my ankle this time. So where did you go? What mountain did you go? Penny Fan in Wales. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Literally, yeah. Would you, you slip? No. Slip. Yeah, like, well, obviously, I was holding Ruby at the time. I was at the top of the mountain because obviously they walked up it and she was only, she was only three. Mm. Um, and then I was like, Matt, go and get a picture over there. So I went to take a picture while holding Ruby. And because there's loads of like, loose, like, like rubble and like, rocks yeah, yeah, up there, yeah. but obviously, she just slipped. But wherever it's going down a hill and I got Ruby, like, I, my knees have gone forwards, my ankles twisted, and I've gone backwards. Obviously, Ruby come off with no scratch. I had scratched yeah. on my arm. <laughs> 
Honestly, like Matt was no, like, calm that's down. Mom. That's the mum. And I was like, calm down. I was like, I've hurt my foot. And honestly, he was just like, come on, I'll carry you. I was like, you can't carry me. And he honestly I and stood the up. Yeah. And I was like, you're not carrying me. Like, I was like, he went, what do I do then? Call the police. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. I don't know. You know, he's like, I don't know who to call. Yeah. And then he rang the police and I was like, oh, we'll put you through to Mountain Rescue. That's to leave their job, day job, to come and rescue me. I felt oh awful. Yeah, honestly, <laughs> that's so bad. And then I was dying for Why a Why would you not let him carry her? Because uh, oh, you he... think you're heavy, even though like there's nothing on If he you, falls or... with me, yeah, I don't know. Or, fall... or was it just too painful to move? It wasn't like really bad pain. Obviously, I couldn't mm. stand on it. It hurt to stand on it. <clears throat> but if I sat there, I was fine. Yeah. Um, but I just thought, like, like, you're like not carrying a job, me. isn't it? Yeah. And, yeah. Um, yeah. and then luckily, there was a bloke already coming up the mountain because he was doing like a test. Uh, to see how quick it took him. Mm. So obviously he come and sat with me um, and obviously assessed me and then wait for the others to come up, like the doctor. They was like, here's some gas in here. I was like, I don't need gas in here. <laughs> like, and then obviously, because I've got nails on, they were trying to do my um, like oxygen oh, yeah, level and they was like, oh my God, your oxygen's really low. We're like, we might have to give you this. And I'm like, I'm fine. Yeah. Like, I actually was fine. He was like, I need done here. So I was like, oh, I think it's broken. Oh, like, so obviously I was fine. But God. then that's carrying me down. I was dying for a weird. I was like, oh, do you want us to stop for a weird? I was like, definitely not. But I don't know about <laughs> you. Like, are we shy? I can't wee. If someone's outside the door, oh, it's yeah, me. Oh, yeah, pressure, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, pressure. and I just can't wee. sitting there going, did you leave me? Yeah, but yeah. you look at any animal. Like, you watch all those nature programs. As soon as an animal is having a dump, it looks embarrassed. <laughs> look at a dog. Dogs always looks embarrassed, doesn't it? Like, oh. Wait, I don't think my dog needs a poo when you have for a walk. A bum hole goes. <laughs> Like we actually, even the kids know now that she needs to poke. So it starts winking, does it? Well, I just see it starts coming out a little bit, but she likes to do it like a certain, like on the grass. She's not really, she's really fussy. Do you reckon that's how they know you needed a way? No, I told him I needed oh, right. I was like, I'm not yeah. stopping. But like, honestly, we out. should have died like the day, like a few days before. We went on this, if you ever go to like four waterfalls, it's so nice. We went there and this bloke, like Marshall, was like, oh, come over here and I'll tell you where to go. He was like, take Route 82. I don't know if you ever see that video I put up. I almost cried. Like honestly, it was so scary. It was that what, like Route Eighty Two? Yeah, it's called Route. It was, it was Route Eighty Two we took. So if you ever mm. want an adventure, go Route Eighty Two. Don't, <laughs> don't take your kids though. Um, honestly, like Jacob, bless him, he was just start like, on the verge of crying. But it was like we can't go back up because it's too dangerous to go back yeah. up. Like there's one point. I think it's probably about this wide. We had to walk across, and it was a massive sheer drop. Oh. Um, luckily, there was other people Why down there. Why would that person suggest? I, honestly, I was so angry. He wasn't there when we got back. Otherwise, I would have said yeah. something. But then we're going. I'm literally like we see a nice waterfall when we was down there though, which most people probably wouldn't have seen. I, Jacob's crying. I'm on the verge of crying. That I was like, I had to hold it back. And then these people like it was so slippery down these rocks. We had to pass our kids to these people we didn't know oh because God. otherwise our kids would have hurt themselves. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then when we got cross. over to the other side, we had to cross a little river. I wish I was like dropped my shoe on my phone because <laughs> obviously it's really slippy. Matt took the kids <clears> across. <throat> Um, and we was like, why did that bloke not tell us to go this way? Yeah. He said it was safer with kids to go Route 82. Oh, my He lied. God. I think he just, because we didn't pay what for parking. Because mm. we got there and he was like, oh, it's cash only. We was like, we don't have cash. Mm. He was like, if you park over there, it's free and then come over here. So maybe because we didn't pay, he was like, I'm going to do them over. <gasps> yeah, what kill us. Honestly, it's so dangerous. <laughs> Honestly, I said to Matt, how we didn't hurt ourselves that day. Mm. It's obviously an adventure and a holiday that we'll always talk about. Yeah, absolutely. And like, but... obviously anyone else probably would have been all right. But yeah, that, way, yeah. that guy's purposely put you in danger. Yeah, really <gasps> honestly. Nice. Like, we had a five-year-old and three-year-olds. Like, yeah. so scary. And where was this? Um, yeah, Wales. It was um, the Four Waterfalls. It's called something. So if you're the parking attendant at the Four <laughs> Waterfalls in Wales, you're an arsehole for, yes. making, for making families with children go to Route 82. <laughs> yeah, because they didn't pay for parking. Absolute yes, well, I'm assuming it was that, because honestly, <laughs> like, we've got free parking. But like, if you ever do want an adventure, that's the go route you go. Right. Yeah. But just not with the kids. No. Mm. But we are going to do it again, but we're just going to avoid Route 82 next time we go. <laughs> route 83. No, I don't even know what the other route's called. <laughs> I'm just going to go that way. We know where we're going now. I bet you're going Route 82. <laughs> no, no way am I going. I said to Matt, you can go Route 82 with Lee. I'll take the kids with me happily. Yeah. Way. <laughs> yeah. I was like, you can show Lee how scary it is. But imagine getting rescued from Mountain Rescue from yeah. there. Because even when we yeah. um, was up the mountain, the, they said we had to rescue someone from that place. Um, Probably they, had to use a helicopter on that bit. They did. Yeah. Honestly, the bloke, she said he only survived because the, his, like, I think it was his um, sister-in-law, she was some, like, I don't know, like, surgeon or whatever. Yeah. Um, and she had to, like, puncture his airway so he could breathe. Oh, like, right. it was that bad. Like, Brilliant. she said, yeah, she oh. said, if she, if, if she wasn't there, he would have died. Like, she <clears> saved God. his life. I was just like, honestly. And then they've got to find you. Yeah. You've obviously got, like, I think there's, like, an app you can get that you ping exactly oh, your yeah, location. Yeah. But we was, like, at the top of the mountain. You know, yeah. you think, oh. So I had to wait for them all to walk up to come and get me to stretch me back down. I bet you by this time you're like, 
honestly like i was like, I'm for hungry, ages. i need a way yeah and they were like i really advise you to go to um the wales hospital i was like no let's drive home <laughs> obviously i was in the back squashing two car seats with my foot on the like, like wrist the Matt kept yeah. elbowing it as he's driving oh. and then i don't know if it was um i don't know what route um, on the way home it is i can't remember now but um it was closed oh, and so it took like it should have took us three hours to get to hospital it took us four honestly and then I was in hospital for 12 hours. Oh, waiting, yeah, because yeah, I couldn't find any cast. <laughs> oh, no. It was, it was uh, traumatic, but it was a good holiday. It was something we'd it was always good talk about. Holiday. But you still did pull with your leg, though, didn't you? Yeah, only a little <clears> bit. <throat> I couldn't do a lot. Um, yeah, I, I did, obviously, do a little bit. You could take, though, couldn't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah um, no, I couldn't. Oh, I had right. to have 12 weeks off. I wouldn't have been able to half cut my leg, like bend my leg in half. Oh, um, right. I probably could have done my other side. Yeah, but couldn't you have... Spoke about it and got some. Oh, else to do the yeah, yeah, yeah. But I can't, couldn't drive. I'd have had to get Lisa to oh, come and get course. me to drive. Yeah, yeah. Driving. Um, and yeah. then obviously when I come out of the boot, I was in a boot for a little while. Even going back, honestly, when my cast was off, the boot was off. I couldn't bend my leg on the pole. Got to go see a physio. You, thought you meant the boot, the car at first. No, the boot. The <laughs> I couldn't drive. Then I had foot. to come out the boot. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shatter in the boot. No, 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 no. Like um, a foot boot. Yeah, I know. Mm. Yeah. Um. So yeah, and I just couldn't bend my leg. I had to go. I did have physio at the hospital, but they didn't really do a lot. So I just went to physio. I'm going to see tomorrow, and he just like massage. He's massaging my back, and mm. it was like it's in your like it's like obviously all your like, ligaments and stuff mm. attached to your ankle. You compensate, don't you? Yeah, because you can't use it. You compensate. Mm. Other parts yeah, and it's, body, it actually so. helped a lot. Obviously, it took a while for me to then start pointing my toe. I couldn't mm. point my toe for a while. Um. But yeah, fine. Well, still hurts a little bit now, but not. As much as I thought it was going to. Mm. So when people say to you, oh, I don't have like much upper body strength, I won't be good at pole. Oh, you get that's, that's a lot all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get all the time. Don't get me wrong, it helps. Mm. Like if you have got bo- upper body strength, it's going to help. You're going to pro- um, progress a lot quicker. Um, do you know what I mean? You're going to uh, be able to do a lot of more things quicker than mm. others. Um, but you've got to come to class like just as an individual, not comparing yourself to others. If you get someone that can't do something for ages, everyone in the class is so happy when you do yeah. get it. And it's that support that you need. Yeah. Like, it's crazy how many friends, like, you make through pole. Like, mm. I, there's loads of girls that I see, and I'm the best friends now mm. because of pole. Like, if they didn't come, they wouldn't. They might have never they're, crossed paths. Yeah. Um, but no, it, I think, especially with spins, um, it's more like that momentum and stuff. But you've still got to know how to, like, engage your shoulders, engage your core. It's all those sort of things. It's not just spinning around the mm. pole. Um, but obviously, you just remind people this is what you've got to do, and maybe you have to show them, like, the shoulder engagement and mm. stuff like that. Um because I've tried it a few times and it's just like when people say, oh, right, now do this and go upside down and you go upside down and then for some reason your brain just goes, oh, I don't know what you're doing Yeah, now. yeah. And you're like, um... No one knows what their left and right is yeah. up, up there. And then you can, if you're upside down, you go, you go um, look up. They look down. Yeah. And it's like, no, but obviously I look suppose up, that is looking yeah. up. So they all look up, but you're like, so after they look at your chest or look at yeah, your head. Yeah. So you have to like adapt to where they like, have got to look because you can actually go look up and then they'll be up there and be like, what's your left and right? And then they're around the opposite way to me and I'm like, Luckily, most of the time, I know I'm like, that's the hand you've yeah. got to move. But sometimes you're like, oh, shit. Or they've gone on the other side. I'm yeah. used to righties. But I've, with some, we do have some lefts. And mm. we, do, we are telling people to go up lefts now. Because you've got to do combos where you end up on both yeah. sides. Yeah. It's always good to do both sides. <laughs> um, but yeah, on the other side, then you have to think about it a little bit more. Um, you ever, ever had anyone hurt themselves, fall off the pole from a height? Or... Yes, yeah, so we did have um, a shoot once. I felt awful. Like, it wasn't my fault because obviously <clears> she was in the mood. She could hold it really good with it. Um, and she's obviously waiting for a photo. And literally, she just slipped. But where she, her head was back, she's obviously fallen. And then obviously hurt her back. Like, she was bendy anyway, which obviously yeah. was like, a good thing. But she did hurt her back. I felt awful because I'm obviously back because I can't spot her because she's getting a shoot. Yeah, yeah. It's too late. She just slipped and uh, fell. And you do get like the odd person that does it. Um, but it's normally the people that you're like, wait for me. And they don't. And yeah. they just go up. And it's like, I said, wait for me. Like, yeah, if you wait yeah. for me, you'd have been all right. Yeah. Um, but sometimes you just can't help it. Slippy mm. hands or... They've done something slightly wrong. Mm. Yeah, because it's special stuff you grip. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, yeah. So, I mean, I try not it's to like use it. Grip, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, some people use like the stuff you get at the gym, but I like yeah. dry hands. Like, I, that's my like grip, go-to mm. grip. Um, but there is other grips out there that quite a lot of the girls like. Although I'm like, you've got to wipe it off yourself. Yeah, I've <laughs> done there for ages. Um, All right, yeah. but yeah, it leaves like a white. Where is it? Sure, yeah, if it's on the it? pole already, it's easy for you. Yeah, so I mean, that's why I don't really use it because yeah. everyone always puts it on the pole. So when yeah. I go up, it's grippy it's for fine, me. Yeah. So I don't really use it because I'm using what they put on the mm. pole. Yeah. But sometimes you've got to do a trick and your hands need to slide. Mm. So I'll be doing a trick that's and I'm it. like, I don't need grip. And like, mm. the girls put grip on. I was like, I just told you, don't you put grip on because you need to slide your hands. And they'll be like, why can't I slide my hands? I'm like, because you've just put that grip yeah. on. <laughs> like, you just got to like only use it when you really have to. Yeah. But like in the summer, you stick, like your skin sticks more, but then your hands are like, you're sweaty because you're hot. Mm. Um, but yeah, I reckon we, uh, you two should be on there next. I'm, to- I'm so up for that. Should. I reckon we should. 
Have you ever had men come to your class? Yeah, we have had a few. They're never really like stuck. Never really stuck. <laughs> I didn't use there. the grip stuff. No, not like, <laughs> no, but they've never really stayed. I mean, we have one uh, one guy, but he goes like, around to different studios. He, like he'll come sometimes. Um, but yeah, not not really. I mean, I think some of the girls would like some like mm. blokes there. Like I don't know, it's just like no. Yeah, come on. <laughs> it's the same. Though. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but no, it would be good. Obviously, you just got to be like because obviously I'm not a bloke. I don't know how it feels around that sort of area. They obviously have to tell me. Yeah. Like, I'm smart, <laughs> Because oh, yeah, there's right. something like, I think it's a seat grip or something where you have to really like hold literally clamp it to your yeah, inner thigh. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've so, got an extra yeah. couple of clamps, and I actually. Yeah, I mean, they, you don't have to do it right close. Yeah. Like obviously, you can just it's just getting used to that burn. On the <laughs> yeah, thigh. and it's like tss, and yeah. it goes all the way down. But <laughs> yeah, I, th- I I think if you don't get bruises from it, then you're not doing it right, right? <laughs> well, I don't really bruise that much anymore. I used I to. Suppose you, yeah, yeah, but I do bruise it. sometimes. But mm. I'm just so used to it. Yeah, like, mm. I don't really. If I go out, I remember we went on holiday. It's only to like caravan holiday. Honestly, my legs. People probably thought Matt beat me because <laughs> it was so bad. But I didn't even think. You know, you're just not yeah. bothered about it. I'm just like, I was like, everyone's probably going to look at me. <laughs> but, do you know what I mean? Like, and obviously, they're like, oh, I wonder why she got them bruises. <laughs> yeah, and then they're going to know you. <laughs> yeah, but no, I do bruise sometimes, but not. A lot. It not depends not. if you're doing the same move constantly, like over yeah. and over again, or if you accidentally bash yourself because you're trying to trick mm. or something like that. It's worth saying that Fit the Flirt don't just do pole dance. They do loads of stuff. They no, still yeah. do boxer size and things like that there. Um, oh, I don't, I, don't, I don't really pay attention to all her classes. She does like her boogie <laughs> bounces. Like, do you know what I mean? I just know all she like, does, Yeah, so tram- little yeah, trampolines, yeah. which yeah, is does, boogie bounce. Yep. She and does a yoga. step still. Yep, does step. Um, hula hoops. Hula hoops. Wait, hula hoop. Um, she uh, has loads. Beat it. Boxer size she used to do. Yeah, still does that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, there's it. a video. We created a video years ago. It must be nearly 10 years old now, yeah. that video, mm. which you can find on our website and um, you'll see all the stuff that they did. Yeah, I think it. I, it's loads. Yeah. I don't think you was there that day I filmed it. No, because remember when I did. You were on I, holiday or something? No, didn't I work in the shop at peace parties? I worked there for a long was time. Was it that long ago that you were working in the shop then? I don't know, actually. I knew you couldn't make I that. Think it, I worked there it for a long a, time. I, I worked there for a long Friday time. Friday and we had to put all the, because there were so many mirrors and you didn't want to get the mirrors involved. So we had to put all those black I mats. Been, on or was the, that college? I don't, you might have been at college. Mm. Yeah, the thing, college. the problem we had is we're filming ourselves if there's, if there's too many mirrors. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you yeah, have to be yeah. really cunning with yeah. it. And um, yeah, we had to cover a few <laughs> mirrors up. Yeah, uh, yeah I think there I was a reason. I remember you wasn't there. And you did a, I just did a quick silk job. I was like, oh. I'm like part of this with you, Lisa. I'm in my That's feet. right. <laughs> That's right. We did the silk. Yeah, we, the silk you, thing, you yeah. dropped from the ceiling. I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, you are in it. Yeah, yeah. and That's you right. dropped from the pole, didn't you? The no, that was the girl. The girl that moved to Dubai or something. Like Mel. That. Oh, yeah, Mel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Mm. Filmed her ass a number of times sliding yeah. down the pole. <laughs> The GoPro and you're yeah. like, do it again, yeah. do it again. <laughs> you can't get that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I wasn't recording that time. Yeah. And then his face is there going, yeah, I need this angle. Do it again. <laughs> yeah. Was you there when I did it? No. Yeah. Um, I was there for the other. She just watched the footage but, after. Yeah, I'm like, oh, yeah, you want to see that a few times? <laughs> and he's got like all on his screen, like about yeah. twelve feet. And I'm like, why is there many? He's like, there I need a, it. <laughs> there was a ginger girl hanging from one of the hoops. Yeah, in it. She works at um. The yeah, gym, the gym. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's yeah. personal trainer now. She's yeah. personal trainer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we, we see her every now and then. Go, film you, didn't I? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, so we got them less. coming in. Gym group are coming in. Oh, have you? Yeah. Um, I don't know when. A couple of weeks time, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, it's quite we handy. Just, we get everyone it. involved. Yeah. Everyone. So, yeah, we're coming to the Fit to Flirt. So, uh, what is it? Fit to Flirt.co.uk? Yeah, know? although the website isn't up to date, at least we need to do that. All oh, right. Okay. <laughs> so, we keep going on. You're better off searching Fit. It's F I T, then a then the number two, and then yeah. Flirt, F L I R T. Yeah. <laughs> and that's on um, Facebook, isn't it? They yeah, Instagram. It's got a dot UK at the end. Instagram mm-hmm. has. Instagram's got dot UK on yeah. it. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. And now about your details for yeah. your balloons. Literally, Tink's balloons. Simple as. T I N K S balloons. <laughs> yeah, you can spell. Check them out. Just about. Yeah. Just I know you can spell balloons. B A double L O O N S. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> oh dear. I'll give you a sticker for that. So have you got a website or just on Facebook? No, just and on Instagram? like Facebook and Instagram, yeah. yeah. Facebook. I don't and think Instagram. I can deal with anything else. Like it's just too much. A lot of people don't nowadays. No. Yeah. A lot of people just go with social media and they yeah. get the business from it. Yeah, so. I think that's why I get I mean I get quite a bit off Facebook. Um, I think I'm not on Instagram enough. I mean, mm. I feel like most of the work, like people are on Instagram, aren't they? But um, I just find it like I, you can link them both now. So if I post mm. something on Instagram, it goes to Facebook, yeah. which is really yeah, handy. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. what we do. Yeah, because they're the same company. Mm. Yeah, it's just so much easier, isn't it? Mm. 
Brilliant. Oh, thank you so much. That's oh, all right. Amazing. Thank you for having really tutorial it. as yeah. well. Okay. I think you, it's the first tutorial we've had. I think. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't know what to do. I was just like, oh. That's brilliant. That's Maybe good. Like we'll keep it. We'll see how long they last. I love to do a little boomerang. Yeah, yeah we'll do that. Yeah. <laughs> brilliant. Thank you, my darling. It's all right. Nice to see you. Thank you for having me. That's good. <laughs> That's good. If I ever come back another time, I'll show you more. <laughs> At least you have a lot of blues now, so I'll just bring them all just in case you want to do more. I'll sit over there. I'll do more. I'm blowing it. I'll sit oh, in the corner. Yeah, skip And there's me there. going like this in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! <laughs> this podcast has been brought to you by Snug Dubs Camper Van Hire. Roam the world, park anywhere. At snugdubs.co.uk. This podcast was brought to you today by Austin's Eatery on Station Road, Strood. Try the Viking Challenge 